our first ride in a completely and totally autonomous vehicle. I decided to change lanes. Okay, well, we put on his blinker, he turned. We can watch the map and see where it's going. And we can see, you can even see trees on the side. We can see cars passing along. And you see people walking on the sidewalk. And as we've been driving along, some people have looked at us with a little bit of surprise. And some people look at us, yawn, and keep going. It's like, when's this already normal? Andy, what's your thought? Um, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Oh, that sounds like an interesting take. So we can control... We can even tell the car to pull over. We can control the temperature back here. We can play the music from our own playlist, from our from our Google music playlist. Okay, he's gonna turn right. Watch this guy. It's been a little choppy. It was kind of a kind of a fast stop. And he's going, he's turning right on red, so somehow he knows that. He or she wanna give the car a gym. accelerate pretty fast and it was driving kind of fast in the parking lot faster than I would drive in the parking lot but it's got a much better radar sensor than I do so it can see people from quite a ways away even a couple of lanes over in the parking lot you can see people walking all the way over okay arriving shortly so the guy just told us okay we're almost there oh that's pretty good. And, and that's my wife and daughters up in that way mill right ahead of us, and they also don't have a driver. This is the first time that we have ridden in an autonomous car. It only functions right now in Metro Phoenix, a small part of Metro Phoenix that includes Chandler and Tempe, I think, and some parts of San Francisco. And I think the only ones that don't even have a, an assistant driver is here again. Okay, now this is weird. We're trying to turn right and it's about to crash into its own Waymo, buddy. Okay, he made it. And we're turning into our next stop, which is a robot-powered sushi bar. Where not only do you get the sushi, hey! What? That lady was looking at us saying, hey, that car doesn't have a driver. So I waved at her and she looked at me like I was a fucker. All right, here we go. There's, there's mom and the girls up ahead of us. Okay, so why wouldn't it just drop us at the front door? Can I just, okay, finding a spot to pull over. That's good, this is where we want to be. All done. We've arrived. All right. Let's check your surroundings before exiting the vehicle. And remember to close the door after the Not lying, no driver. <laughs> 